Hey guys, we're back at it. We're in the EKG. We're going to do a quick little video series that we'll just title the 10 second EKG or something like that. What we're going to do is talk about a particular skill within interpretation of an EKG, or not really a skill, but a rule. So um, this, what this will do is give you the ability to go directly to that particular skill within EKG interpretation and not have to review the entire video or fast forward through it or whatever. So I'm going to try to keep most of them between 10 and 20 seconds if, if I can. Um, so we'll let, let's go ahead and get started here. What we're going to do first off, we're going to talk about the rate. Um, remember these numbers, and, and you should have them hopefully written down already, but write these down. 300, in this order, left to right, 300, 150, 100, 75, 60, 50. It does go on to 40, but we'll stop there. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to find our R wave, right, which is this guy right here. These, this is the, t the peak of our R wave. And we're going to find the closest one, or the one closest to the dark line. So you have these dark lines, you have the light lines, five of them in between each dark one. Uh, and we're going to use those as our markers. Okay. Now, what those numbers do is we start determining our rate based upon where the next R wave falls on the next dark line. So, here's what we're talking about. If it fell here, it would be 300. If it fell here, it would be 100. If it fell here, it would be 75, 60, 50. I think I skipped something. Let's see. 300, 150, 1, 75, 60, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're, we're good to go. We got 50 showing in a 6 second strip as well as using our 300 method. We were able to determine that that's at 50. Once again, because I messed up on the first time, we're going to start here at 300, 150, 100, 75, 60, 50. And that is a 300, I don't know what we'll call that, but it's using the 300 numbers to um, determine your rate.